get this bread. This is us right now saying that we, by Monday, I'm gonna have a vlog uploaded. Hi everyone, welcome to my first MCAT study vlog. I am going to be taking you along, taking my first practice test. I am actually super scared. I'm taking it tomorrow. I did pre well my diagnostic or, well, I did better than I thought I would do on my diagnostic and so I'm really scared to see the number go down But deep inside I feel like it will increase because I've been doing content review for about a month So we'll see how it goes, but I wanted to walk you through it And so I hope you enjoy for a bit of context I got a 507 on my diagnostic, but I'm like 99% sure I was just carried by my car scored so Tomorrow I'll be aiming for a 510. Let's see if I can do it, but it's okay if I don't I'm just, I'm just trying to learn from doing it, but I want to so badly. If anyone out there is studying for the MCAT, we got this. I believe in us. It's definitely a long and arduous process, but I know we can do it. I'm purchasing the blueprint practice test. I'm getting four and it's $159. I have a tracker of how much I've spent on the MCAT and it's so expensive. It actually, oh, 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 look at that. It actually has to be a crime how much studying for the MCAT costs. And I'm self-studying and I got a free set of practice books from my brother. If this channel ever goes anywhere, the first thing I will try to do is get discount codes for all of you. Have I been missing your letters? Did you write me at all? Or have I just forgotten? This is actually crazy. I had so much trouble sleeping last night because I was way too nervous slash excited for the exam. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do for the real thing because I lost a good 30, 40 minutes of sleep just tossing and turning and imagining it. So, oops. It is time to begin after my dilly dallying. So, let's get to it. Look at this. We won't see that for another eight hours. I wanted to show you the desk setup. You've got a keyboard, mouse, monitor with the exam, and I just have a notebook and a pen. I just finished the chem physics section and that was really, really bad. I think it wasn't so much the content. Well, one, I think I'm still unfamiliar with the content, but I did horrendous on the timing. That one was not good. A little bit of a tip that I heard is instead of taking the full 10 minute break, you should just take eight minutes because on test day, you are gonna have to spend some time checking back into the room. Okay. Car section done. I don't feel as great about it as I wish I did. Generally, I feel really confident answering cars questions, but I think something that I found myself stumbling into is that I'm not very assertive with my answers, right? Like when you choose an answer, you think that answer is gonna be correct. I'm not feeling too great about this test and kind of where the score will lay, but I think I'm learning a lot in terms of how to direct my studying from here on out. Bio biochem was pretty good. I mean, I definitely have some content gaps, but timing was good. I knew some of the answers. I feel pretty decent about it. Now we're on to the last section. So I finished and it did not go the way that I hoped, but I think I'll still put this vlog out because I think it's important to see that the path is not linear. Here, I will show you what I got. So, I dropped a point, which was very, very disappointing after about a month of studying. However, what I will say, I increased two points in chem phys, one point in bio biochem, and one point in psych -soc. Today, I dropped five points in cars. And generally, I am pretty good at cars. I don't think that it was a fluke 
that last time I did so well on cars, but today I was just super panicked and running out of time. I felt it as I was taking it. I just couldn't decide on an answer, but it's over now and I'm proud of myself for completing this first long exam and I'll take my next exam next Friday. And maybe I'll vlog that too and we can kind of see the improvement, but I wanted to show that, you know, it's not always up, but it is kind of up because I am pretty satisfied that I'm going up in the other sections. I had just hoped that it would be a little more. <laughs> Hi everyone, I just finished taking my second practice exam and I wanted to share with you how it went. Look, I'm so excited. I got a 516. So if you need a sign that progress is possible and this is literally only within a week and I still have so much more that I wanna study, but it just goes to show, don't panic. You got this, I believe in you. All of your hard work will pay off and I am hoping that mine does too. Yay!